Bella Beans Chinese Food Kitchen. In today's kitchen, I'm going to share with you a recipe of beef stew. The materials for this recipe are beef stew meat, mixed color carrots. They are yellow, purple, red carrots, and then half lobok, and one yellow onion, and a little bit coranda, a little bit ginger, a little bit ground black pepper, and one bay leaf, and one star anise, and a little bit cinnamon stick, and the others are so on this photo. First step, let's cut the beef meat. We cut it the middle, then cut it into medium-sized cubes. You see, the meat is still a little bit frozen. That way, it's easy to cut. Then we put the cubes into cold water. That way, make the meat defrosted. Also, make the blood in the meat go into the water, and then the meat will have the best taste. We put the meat in the water for about 15 minutes. Now, let's cut the carrots. We cut the carrots into triangle cubes. Wow, they are really nice color. So lovely. Then we cut this red one into about half inch thin slices. Then we cut this low bulk, cut them into about one inch thin cubes. This is all the carrots and the low box. Next step, we cut this ginger into very thin slices and cut this yellow onion into slices too, put them into a plate. Next, we preheat oven to 325 degree. Now we go back to the meat. Oh, they all defrosted. And you see the water is right because some of the blood go into the water. Now we drain the water out and take the beef cubes out. Put them onto a dry paper. Then we use another dry paper to absorb the water on the cubes. Now they are dry enough. Next one, we put a white flour and the salt into this plate and mix them well and set aside. Then we heat this Dutch oven over medium heat. Then add in one tablespoon of oil you need in it and then coat the beef cubes. Use this flour mix. Just the coat a very thin layer. Then put them into the Dutch oven. Okay, that's uh, only a little bit left. Continue to coat the cubes and put them into the Dutch oven. Make sure each cube on the bottom have some oil on it. We continue to coat and then put a cube into the Dutch oven. Now we finish all the pieces. Then we fry these pieces about 3 to 5 minutes until the bottom side is turned to brown color. Then we turn over each piece. After we turn over all the pieces, then we fry the other side about 
the three to five minutes until the bottom change the color to brown. We don't need to turn over all the pieces this time. We just move off such oven from the heat. Next step, we heat one tablespoon of oil over medium heat in a cooking pan. When the oil is warmer, then add in yellow onion and ginger pieces. Stir fry, stir fry, stir fry about four minutes or until the onion and the ginger is tender. Add in the clove of garlic. Stir fry, stir fry about two minutes. Then we add in the bay leaf, star anise, and the cinnamon stick. Stir fry, stir fry a little bit. Stir fry, stir fry again. Then add in ground black pepper. Stir fry, stir fry. About 30 seconds. Then we add in the oyster sauce. Stir fry a little bit. Add in light soy sauce. Stir fry, stir fry a little bit. Add in rice cooking wine. Stir a little bit. Add in dark soy sauce. Stir fry. Now the color is really dark. Add in the tomato paste. And stir a little bit. Stir fry a little bit. Mix everything. About 20 seconds. Then we put half cup of cold water into the tomato paste bowl. Rinse the bowl and dump the liquid into the pan. After that, add in three cups of cold water into the pan. And stir a little bit and boil it. When the mixture is boiling, add in half teaspoon of salt. Then half teaspoon of sugar. Stir fry, stir fry, mix everything well. Then we move the Dutch oven back onto the heat. Then we dump the liquid and the content in the pan into the Dutch oven. And use the spoon to stir, stir on the bottom of the Dutch oven. Make sure no one is stuck on the bottom. Stir, stir. Everything is up. No one is stuck on the bottom. Okay, now we put the cover on the Dutch oven and then move it to the stove. Bake for about one and 15 minutes. The stove already preheated to 325 degrees. In the meantime, we chop the grinder, prepare for use. Okay, now one hour and 15 minutes already. Take the Dutch oven out. 
Wow! Everything looking good. Then we add in the carrots and the lobok cubed into the Dutch oven. And stir, stir everything, mix everything to see if there is still enough liquid for the stew. Yeah, that's good. So we put cover again and put the Dutch oven back to the stove and cook another 1 hour and 15 minutes now we prepare the potato starch liquid that's a half a tablespoon and another half a tablespoon of a potato starch and that's one fourth cup of cold water and set aside now, one hour and 15 minutes already, we take out the Dutch oven. Wow, everything looking nice. Now, we heat this Dutch oven, use medium heat. Then we stir the liquid potato starch and add in the liquid potato starch into the Dutch oven. Stir, stir, mix everything. Stir about one minute. Now, everything is well cooked. We transfer it, transfer some of it into a plate. Wow, they're looking really, really nice. Oh, beautiful color. Everything looking nice. Wow. That's enough for today's lunch. Then, some of them in the Dutch oven we reserve it for tomorrow's the noodle soup that is beef noodle soup for tomorrow we put some coranda on the top now we ready to try it ready to eat we eat this plate with our rice Wow, everything looking so nice. Let's try it to see how, how it tastes. Let's try this beef meat first. Eat some rice with it. Then eat this carrot. A little bit of rice again. This lobok look nice. Wow, really, really delicious. How do you like my recipe? If you like my recipe, you may click subscribe plus bell. Then every time I have a new recipe coming, you are notified. Thank you so much and take care, keep well, see you next time.